Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the infamous uh, Against the Hive run where I'm trying to survive and the game is trolling me. It put uh, 45 chrysalid chameleons in here just to see how I would react and I figured, you know what, if the game is trolling me I will just troll it back even harder so we go in with an all squaddy team all of the stuff that they are wearing are uh, is very much losable if if for whatever reasons we're getting a couple of kills out of it and uh, raise uh, the level of uh, these fine gentlemen that's good if uh, the uh, mm, chrysalids uh, the chameleons come in as expected uh, then this is going to be a very short uh, mission uh, i will evac as soon as we're losing one or two and and or when I deem that the mission is no longer winnable but until such time just like the last time uh, we fought there is still a small chance and hope is what uh, keeps this campaign together we're running on fumes and these fumes are just based on hope good let's see how this one is going to go I do have a bit of a sense that uh, this will be short-lived. Twenty-six civilians. We're starting on low ground just to add uh, insult to injury. Our only stealth uh, character, A. Aaron, is going to move up. Nothing up there. Lots and lots of potential sure thing. Uh, civilians there. I want to make sure that we're playing this as safe as possible. Baldi Locks um, moves up here so that we can charge up next turn. And we're having one Overwatch. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. The Chosen on top of all of the enemies. By the way, I'm seeing other Chrysalids. What is going on? Immune to melee can summon more Chrysalids. Kinetic Plating, Watchful. Well, not much to work with, but plenty of chrysalis, that's for sure. Heads up out there. It's the elder's assassin, and she's moving into the AO. Okay, well, here we go. First shot immediately makes uh, the guy disappear. And we know it's standing right there. Okay, cool. There we go. Second pack coming in. The third pack's right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. We haven't even left the entrance uh, zone. Not for long. And we're being greeted by two packs of chrysalids. Well, there are high hopes on my friends from the resistance to actually carry this here. Good, well, you're already starting to hit the next few packs. I'm not even, I'm not even at that point. In my individual timeline, I'm still trying to 
<coughs> understand how we're going to survive the first pack. Okay, Heads begins to start hitting the chameleon, because that's what he can see. That triggers into a free action. Oh, surprise, we would have never guessed that there is another chameleon. Why do the chrysalid chameleons nowadays do have armor? I wonder. Out. Moves over here. Prep number one. love to get that other chameleon in as well problem is we would get the car in and the car is quite deadly tool and I'm not sure if I should face tank here with hats maybe the right call is to actually back up back off rather Might be another pack over here at least uh, someone has shot at the ripper so can't risk pulling these guys as well Good, Baldi Logs moves over here. Big fat hit. Nice crit, good job. Moving up further. Okay, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Trying to make sure that, that the chameleons are actually going down. Good, not perfect, but it has to do for now. Absolutely. I need heads, so we need to move to here. Blind this guy. 
The other two are dead. And we're just overwatching. Well, fabulous. The explosion range was a tiny bit larger than expected. Unfortunately, XCOM operatives are perfect uh, in spawning additional chrysalids. And the assassin on top of it just to round up uh, the experience. Okay, I do have an idea because this is not going very well. Moves to here. Moves to there. Moves to here. And moves to here. Ghost grenade. are concealed there we go good you're safe and you are safe we're just going to save uh, six of them and then Get the hell out of here. Position confirmed. Go on, get out of here. On my way. Go feed him, Good. Well, the Chrysalid Swarm is definitely going to overrun this particular mission. Sometimes you gotta learn how to lose gracefully. And the first pack, I, I could see how it's possible for us to go uh, get through it. Uh, with enough time, maybe the second one. My biggest problem is they already killed all of our uh, support. And with these guys gone, how am I supposed to go through th such a cluster of aliens? It's not happening. Pure math prevents us from being able to kill all of them. Yeah, didn't help uh, the cause 
uh, to take only rookies with me, but realistically, there would have been no other outcome. Okay. Get an evac in here. That's affirmative. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Eliminate the chrysalid advance. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to happen. This is a faceless one. I'm on the move. A protocol just in case. You never know, right? Maybe we're being spotted out. Everybody evex. With the exception of Ed Galen Poe. Who's the last man uh, standing? He has concealment, so there is a good chance that he's not going to be spotted out. But since the AI is the AI, there might be a small, tiny chance that he's actually being spotted out. Never mind, he's dead. Well, it's not over until the fat lady sings. Maybe he's not. They die as warriors, as great a death as one could hope. Yeah, I remember playing this mission in Choose to Lose, but we had a much better uh, team and way more firepower plus death from above, Euler and Co. And we were just hemorrhaging through our ammunition. The elders grant me their vision, and with it, I am everywhere. Cool. Ed Galen Poe can now, with confidence, say that he had um, two turns, uh, or two missions that were absolute nail biters, and he survived both of them. So, if I could personally promote him, I would do that. He definitely earned the rank of a sergeant. Well, look at that. Edgar received another promotion. I think we can all agree that that was well deserved overall. Demolition is potentially what I would want to take. We need cover removal. Hello, Commander. And we are regaining contact. There you go. I just wanted to continue with integrated warfare. We have a steady trace on the chosen Which we currently don't have, so might as well install a radio relay here. Which then again will give us an opportunity to go to South America. Resistance communications facility now operational. Okay, listen. We can just put uh, him in here. And we do have a lot of contacts now. Unfortunately, we don't have the intel, but this here is easily doable. And this here could be doable as well. And then we would have voluntary army, which is not a bad uh, thing. 
I will play that off screen. Okay, so <clears throat> that finally means the stronghold is available. And after she has just attacked us, I think we're going to go exactly for that. I like getting us a Colonel Reaper. So that's a good option. This one here as a promotion wouldn't be bad either. Oh, Bob Hubs. Oh, that is good. Extra upgrade slot. And we've, uh, they have also been uh, strengthened. So that's not bad at all. I think we're going for the breakthrough here. <clears throat> Noxus gets the aim benefit and we're just reducing the time by one. I think that's actually a pretty damn uh, good reward. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Might as well squeeze in uh, that other promotion or um, other mission, depending on how the next one uh, goes. We are ready to infiltrate the uh, final stronghold and that'll happen in the next episode today was a bit of a shorter one <clears throat> can appreciate not every single mission can uh, work out equally well uh, we are however lucky that uh, all of uh, the guys made it out alive and yeah two squaddies with a bond sure help yourself out guys <coughs> Plus, Dilly G finally made it to Corporal after tons of uh, covert action missions that he did. And Edgar Allan Poe made it uh, to Sergeant after the two like hardcore missions that he needed to endure. So that's actually not too bad. Good. That's it uh, from me so far. Thank you for watching and uh, try to promote that uh, like button. Uh, see if you can raise it to a corporate like button. Thanks and have a good one. Bye-bye